know, Todd Purifoy breaks down a few more highlight moments from the 2014 Music Fest in Steamboat Springs, Colorado, in this week's Texas Music Road Story. Since it's 97 degrees here and cool as can be up there, let's check it out. Probably my, my most favorite event that I saw, that, a show that I saw at all was a songwriter swap with Bruce Robinson, Walt Wilkins, Leanne Womack and her daughter on guitar, Dean Dillon, and J.D. Souther. And, and you know, you always, you see these shows and there's sometimes there's a moment. There's like 10 moments in, in this show. There was a, a discussion that was had between Dean Dillon and J.D. Souther about, man, you know, man, we should get together and write. And they started talking about that. So, you know, the room just kind of had this kind of giggle about it, you know, because J.D. Souther and, and Dean Dillon write a song together. You, you know that song has a good chance of being a pretty good song. Tonight I'll be honky-tonk crazy Let the whiskey whisker out of my mind Let the whiskey whisker out of my mind This year at the tribute to Dean Dillon, everybody kind of when they go to do their song, that they intro it and they sort of say how Dean either affected them or what they thought or what the process they went through to pick their song or whatever they say. Um, when it came to Wade, he, he started to briefly tell a story about a writing appointment he had set up with Dean and how big of an honor this was, how excited he was and anxious for all this to happen. And he said his publisher called him and said, listen, uh, I made a mistake. The day Dean, that he was supposed to write, Dean was actually in Arkansas. And so Wade followed that with, so we didn't get to write together, so I've actually never got to meet Dean. I want to tell you, I've, I've never met you, because I've always been scared to walk up to you the last few years you've been up here, <laughs> kind of hide off and just listen to your songs. But uh, I, I write with a good friend named Jeremy Spillman in Nashville. And uh, one day he said, man, I, I think you ought to write with Dean Dillon. And he continued with the story and all of a sudden, Dean started to get up and Wade kind of froze and said, oh no, he's going to cut me off. Uh-oh. <laughs> he's cutting me off. He's cutting me off. <laughs> Dean walked all the way up to the stage, got up on the stage and shook Wade's hand and gave him a big hug and kind of pulled him in close and, and talked to him for a minute and walked back down to his seat and the crowd all kind of went nuts. It was just a really cool moment and I was lucky enough to be in the right place at the right time that time to get that shot of the, the embrace. Thank y'all, I'm done, y'all. But it legitimately, legitimately he threw Wade completely off. He had no idea where he was in his story. Uh, it, it was pretty, and actually he sat back down, Wade said, I'm sorry, I can't, I don't know what I was saying. And Dean said, you were talking about Jeremy, and it, it went right back into the story. So it was a pretty cool moment for Wade, I would imagine. Um, we talked a little later about it and what was actually said and everything. It's pretty neat stuff. <laughs> 